Aside from developing the three laws of motion, Isaac Newton also introduced the law of universal gravitation. Gravity is the weakest of the fundamental forces, but it is the most apparent force in everyday phenomena. And it is the force responsible for the motions of the moon, the earth, and the other planets. Yet, the connection between objects falling on the earth and planets moving in their orbits was not known before Newton. The idea that came to Newton is that the force that causes an apple to accelerate downward is the same force that causes the moon to move in a circular path around the earth. Particularly, Isaac Newton wondered about the nature of the force that must keep the moon in its nearly circular orbit around the earth. And also, lagi niya niisip yung problem about the gravity. Since merong acceleration yung falling objects. And yung same force nga na yun na nagkukos ng circular motion ng moon around the earth and yung force na nagkukos ng acceleration downward sa earth is yung force of gravity. In 1687, Isaac Newton published his work on the law of universal gravitation. If two particles with masses say m1 and m2 are separated by distance r, a gravitational force f acts along a line joining them with magnitude given by this equation. Force equals gravitation times m1 times m2 over r square. Yung m1 and m2 na yan are the masses nung dalawang object na kinakalculate natin yung gravitational force and yung r naman is the distance between them and yung g is a constant with a value of 6.673 times 10 raised to negative 11 newton times meter square over kilogram square or tinatawag natin siya as the constant of universal gravitation. Take note that the gravitational force is always attractive. Okay, for example, in this figure, itong dalawang dots natin, yan yung, for example, this is the M1 and this is the M2. Yung red na arrow na yan, ito yung gravitational force nilang dalawa na nararamdaman. And yung broken line, ito yung separation distance nila. This is the R. So, the force of gravity is along the line connecting the masses. Nandito yung kanilang gravitational force. And according to Newton's law, lahat ng object in the universe attract all other objects in the universe by way of the gravitational interaction. It is in this sense that yung force law is always called the universal. Kaya nga tinatawag natin siya as the law of universal gravitation. Yung net gravitational force na nararamdaman natin is due not only to the planet on which you stand, which is certainly responsible for the majority of the net force, but also sa mga tao na nasa paligid natin, yung ibang planets and even the stars and galaxies. So in short, everything in the universe feels everything else and that's because of the gravity. As we can see, ang value ng constant of universal gravitation natin is a small number only and it means that yung force of gravity between objects is small lang din. Example number one, calculate the gravitational force does a 1,300 kilogram metal sphere exert on an identical sphere 3.5 meters away. To calculate the gravitational force using the formula of the law of universal gravitation, F equals gravity times M1 times M2 over R square. Given sa atin ang isang mass, we have 1,300 kilograms, pero kailangan natin ang dalawang object. But according to the problem, yung ikakalculate natin yung gravitational force ay yung ibinibigay ng 1,300 na metal sphere sa identical metal sphere also. So, ibig sabihin, pareho sila ng mass na 1,300 kilograms. And given din sa atin yung R, we have 3.5 meters. So, we have 3.5 meters. This is the R. M1 and M2 is ito. Gravitational force is equal to, ang constant of universal gravitation is equal to 6.673 times 10 raised to negative 11 newton times meter square over kilogram square times M1, 1,300 kilograms. M2 is the same, 1,300 kilograms over R square. We have 3.5 meters quantity square. By calculating, the gravitational force is equal to 9.206 times 10 raised to negative 6 newton. 
So there is less than the force that would result from blowing gently on one of the spheres. So gravitational forces are usually significant only when at least one of the bodies has a very large mass. So this is example number one. Example number two. What is the magnitude of the gravitational force of the Earth on a 70 kilogram person? The Earth has a mass of 5.98 times 10 raised to 24 kilograms and a radius of 6.37 times 10 raised to 6 meters. Para mas madali natin i-visualize and i-calculate, i-assume natin yung person as a sphere also. Say for example, this is the Earth, not to scale, and ito yung person. Ang radius nung Earth is 6.37 times 10 raised to 6 meters. And now, since nasa surface ng Earth yung 70 kilogram person na i-analyze natin, silang dalawa i-analyze natin, ang distance nila is yung radius na mismo nung Earth. Since ang i-consider natin sa na point from the Earth is itong center niya. Ito. And of course, ang mass nito is yung given na 5.98 times 10 raised to 24 kilograms and yung 70 kilograms na mass nung person. So the distance r in Newton's law of gravity is the distance between the centers of the two spheres. The size of the person is negligible compared to the size of the earth. So we can use the earth's radius as the r as I have said nga kanina. The gravitational force. Ito yung gravitational force na exert nung earth to person. We have gravity or the constant of universal gravitation times mass ng earth times mass ng person over r square or yan yung radius ng earth. Substituting the values, ang g natin is 6.673 times 10 raised to negative 11 newton times meter square over kilogram square times ang mass ng earth is 5.8. 98 times 10 raised to 24 kilograms times ang mass ng person 70 kilograms over ang radius we have 6.37 times 10 raised to 6 meters quantity square. By calculating ang gravitational force na exert ng earth to person is equal to 688.4 Newton. This force is exactly the same as we would calculate using the formula for the weight force which is yung weight equals mass times the gravity yung 9.81. From one of the previous lecture videos natin, we already have introduced the force of gravity. Newton's law of gravity is more a fundamental law for calculating the force of gravity but it's still the same force that we earlier called the Wait, so this is example number two. Example number three. Three zero point three kilogram billiard balls are placed on the table at the corners of a right triangle. As we can see in this figure, top view, we have M1, M2, and M3. Letter A. Find the net gravitational force on the cube ball designated as M1, ito yun, resulting from the forces exerted by the other two balls. And letter B. Find the components of the gravitational force of M2 and M3. To calculate the net gravitational force dun sa cube ball or yung M1 natin, ikakalculate muna natin yung force na ine-exert nung mass 2 sa mass 1. Say F21 na lang ang ilagay natin dito. Yung F21 na yan is a force vertical from Y component acting on M1. And then, ikakalculate naman natin yung force na na-exert ng M3 sa M1. Say, F31 na lang ilagay natin. And itong F31 naman na to, which is the X component of the net force na nag act dun sa M1. And with these two components, we can find the magnitude and direction on the net force on the cue ball. Gagamitin lang natin yung Pythagorean theorem. Kukunin natin yung total or yung net force. Sa letter B naman, in this situation, Gigamit tayo ng trigonometry to find the components of the force, say, F23 na lang kasi gravitational force between M2 and M3. For letter A, start muna tayo sa F21. 
So, sa F21, ang po gamitin natin na formula is yung law of universal gravitation equation. We have G times M1 times M2 over R square. Now, ang G natin is equal to 6.673 times 10 raised to negative 11, di ko na ilalagay yung unit, times ang mass 1 or ang M1 natin is 0 0.3 kilograms. Identical sila nung balls, 0 0.3 kilograms din over R square. Ang distance between M1 and M2 is 0 0.4 meters quantity square. And by calculating, F21 is equal to 3.75 times 10 raised to negative 11 newton. For F31 naman, same constant of gravitation, 6.673 times 10 raised to negative 11 times 0 0.3 kilograms times 0 0.3 kilograms over 0 0.3 meter quantity square. Yan yung distance between M1 and M3. By calculating, ang F31 is equal to 6.67 times 10 raised to negative 11 newton. And again, to calculate the net gravitational force, ang net force sa M1 natin is equal to, okay, eto siya, yung F21, eto yung F31, eto yung net force na inahanap natin. F21 is equal to 3.75 times 10 raised to negative 11, di ko nilalagay yung unit, square, plus 6.67 times 10 raised to negative 11 quantity square. So, ito siya. Ito yung F21, ito yung F31. F31 is in the horizontal component. And ito yung net force na hinahanap. By calculating, ang net gravitational force on the cube ball or dun sa M1 is equal to 7.65 times 10 raised to negative 11 newton. To find the direction ng force na yan, itong angle na to, the tangent theta is equal to the inverse tangent or tangent raised to negative 1 times Fy over Fx. Ang Fy natin is yung F21 na nandito. Ang Fx natin is yung F32 yun nandito. So we have 3.5 75 times 10 raised to negative 11 over 6.67 times 10 raised to negative 11. By calculating, angle theta is equal to 29.3 degrees. For letter B naman, we are asked to calculate the components of the force and exert ng M2 sa M3 or yung F23. Given yung distance between M1 and between M3 and M2, we have 0 0.5 meters. Pwede na natin isolve agad yung F23. F23 is equal to 6.673 times 10 raised to negative 11 times 0 0.3 kilograms times 0 0.3 kilograms over ang R again is 0 0.5 meter quantity square. By calculating, Ang value ng F23 is equal to 2.4 times 10 raised to negative 11 newton. Ang inaanap sa atin is yung component niya, x and y component. To solve for the x and y component, dapat alam natin yung angle or yung direction ng force, yung gravitational force nilang dalawa. Ito nga yun, itong phi na angle natin dito. So, kailangan natin i-solve yung phi na yan. Phi, or ang gagamitin lang natin is, tangent na lang ulit, tangent phi is equal to 0 0.4 meters, eto yun, over 0 0.3 meters, eto yun. By calculating, ang angle na to is equal to 53.13 degrees. Ito ang gagamitin natin to solve for the 
x and y component for f23 at x or f23 x na lang e draw natin ito siya ito yung f23 f23 x f23 y Kaya ang direction ng F23 natin is in this direction. Ibig sabihin, yung F23Y natin is pataas. That is positive. And yung F23X natin is to the left. Considering, eto yung ating signs. This is negative. For F23X, this is negative F23 cosine phi F23X Substituting the values, we have negative F23 is 2.4 times 10 raised to negative 11 newton cosine 53.13 degrees. And by calculating, F23x is equal to negative 1.44 times 10 raised to negative 11 newton. For the y component naman, F23y, positive, we have F23 sine phi, substituting the values, F23y is equal to positive 2.4 times 10 raised to negative 11 newton, sine phi na 53.13 degrees, and by calculating, F23y is equal to Positive 1.92 times 10 raised to negative 11 newton. Kung mapapansin natin how small the gravity forces are between these objects. Again, for letter A, hinanap natin yung net gravitational force by using vectors. And sa letter B naman, hinanap natin yung components ng gravitational force between mass 2 and mass 3. So, this is example number 3.